Okay, let's run Ag Open GPS now without any config files, whatever. So this is the way it comes up in default. And scooch and move this down here. This guy now you can move around. Click on it once, it gets smaller, bigger. The Batman, you can just hide out of the way. Make him small, click. That doesn't work so well on a touch screen. You have to kind of, it wants to make it small and big every time you double click and move it. I gotta try to figure out what's going on there, but yeah, it's so Windows it hurts. But uh, this is all still stuff, it's still the same. Set it for 3D, set it for 2D, that sort of thing. This guy now has full gamut of the buttons. You can go up and down, zoom, all that sort of thing. That's still the same. This guy has changed some. Some of these are all options now. You can turn the compass on. You can turn this, that's the top view, off and on. And you turn always on, like instead of where the green line is always on. Some people like to use that as a headland without um, without actually using U-turn. And the rest is all pretty much basically the same. We're going to leave that off for now. And light bar on. So, let's load up a field. Open, Fred. This is just a basic field. All right, most common thing, of course, is making AB lines and AB curve lines, that sort of thing. Uh, to bring up the AB edit box, add box, whatever, you just click it once and you can either exit here or you can click again. So it's all the same. And we're going to create a new one. Click the plus and start driving along. Hit our A point. There it says in this wonderful little text and flag now. It says A. And you just drive a ways and you hit B. You can adjust the angle a bit if you want, that sort of thing. Hit enter. Now you can either use it and save it, or just save it, or just cancel and run away. We're just going to use this one. Again, when you bring this up, it just brings up the existing one. Now you can delete it, you can use it. If there's two or three there, you can do all that sort of thing. Of course, the other way is to use the uh, touch, which works really, really well. Click your two points and create your AB line. Now we have two AB lines. One going at zero degrees, one going about 93 degrees. It gives you the name here and the time it was created. This one, it tells you which AB line that you're on. Here we're minus 15, so we're on the left-hand side of the AB line. If we want to edit, you can edit this AB line now. You can either click here or you can bring up this menu. You can move the thing over a little bit, save it, edit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the line. Now let's, uh, let's hit auto steer down here. So we can see some of the things that are happening. We can move it over a full width. You can see the way the reference line is moving towards us here, but we're not moving. You can move it little amounts. You can move it the big amount that you set in settings, and this is the small amount that you set in settings. This is an entire implement width. And so you can move it around. You can snap to where it is. You can flip the AB. Now you see it's positive. Now we're on the right side of the line, the way it was created. Uh, let's just start back at the beginning again. If you didn't like your B point, you can create a new B point at this point. And you can also head, enter in a different heading. If you don't like any of those changes, you can just click exit, or you can just save the line. So that's our AB line. So again, you can get that either here or there. And that works for curve, and it works for AB the same way. All right, one last button. Quick here on this, on the AB line, is this guy selects multiple lines if you have them. So remember we created two AB lines, just click it, it's like one or the other. Here in auto steer, and you're driving along, it'll just keep following that line, and then it'll go to where it wants to go. The other thing I should mention is if you're not using U-turn, but it's if you have an AB line, and you have auto steer on, you can do a manual U-turn. Just click that on, and it'll whip around and do a U-turn. Not such a huge circle. So let's make that smaller. 
F1 settings, the vehicle, return radius of about 350. There. Now when we make a turn, there, pretty simple. So that's how you do a manual U-turn. Tram lines. First let's pick a curve line, which we don't have, but we're going to make a curve line the easy way. We're just going to click on the boundary here and create it. Now we have a perfect that follows our boundary. If you don't have a boundary, of course, you just have to drive it, and that's the same way as doing it with the AB line. The uh, That is so simple. Select your AB line. Now here you can see our reference. Now in order to, to set up our tram, you can see we're at minus four. We're A, we're on the wrong side of the line, and B, the line needs to be on the outside of the boundary. When we bring up the boundary form, we can do all that. You can see here how it, it uh, these are the guidelines of the of the three meters of your air seater. And you can see that they're on the wrong side of the field. So we just want to put the AB line so that everything is drawn on the right side of the field. Well, the right side of the AB line. But, and this is always easier in 2D, of course. We want to get this line, or our reference line, half an implement width outside of the boundary. So we go over and we make sure and line that up pretty, pretty good. And now this guy is a half implement width. Click half implement width, and then it sets it up so that your first pass, the edge of the seat is right against the outside of the boundary. Track, you set how wide the thing is, and your width of your sprayer, we'll leave it at 21. And again, if you're backwards, just hit AB, and so it, it'll redraw it so it's sitting the right way. At this point, you can just turn it off. Oh, should mention this. Or sorry, just the tram lines visible, or you can have just the outside visible. None of them visible, or you can have everything visible. And here it numbers the lines as well. Now we can go back to 3D. And you see it, it numbers the lines, and then you have the outside, and then the line that you're on. And you hit go. And now you have your tram lines, and now you can just see it as normally. And then, of course, as you as you see it over top, the highlights will jump. Color is an important thing. And of course it will still remain. The, the tram lines will be highlighted even though you've, you've mapped the thing. Okay, so let's set U-turn. And here we create a U-turn. Now we're going to go that way. It tells it's 31 meters. Uh, this is the zoom extents button where you can zoom in and out on the field, maximum to minimum. This is the distance that you've traveled down here. This is GPS data still. Push it again, make it disappear. This turns the text off and on. If it's just too crowded and too many lines and too many numbers, you can just get rid of them all. That's the edit AB line. This is uh, editing U turn. This is editing the vehicle. And this is your the same menu when it's, of course, when this is much smaller, then you don't have room for all the buttons, and the buttons just disappear and it bases it on priority. And so you can still do everything off of this one menu. Uh, auto steer config, that goes in there. Uh, open and close a field. Create boundaries, which we saw on how to do that. And uh, here you can delete the applied area. You can go right to the file uh, Windows File Explorer. You can delete the contour paths, make boundary contours, and create boundaries all over there. Of course, as this gets bigger, then you have more options. And then this is just snapping, or not snapping, but moving the AB line left and right, that sort of thing. And this tells you the width of the implement. Again, depending on the, the full HD, you get, uh, you get all the buttons. Okay, and so then going through the buttons, there's a flag. Now it numbers the flags, right click, or in the case of a touch screen, push and hold. And you can pick different colors. You can click on the individual ones, right click, and then you can see that flag in Google Earth, along with the other flags, to uh, set how many skips you want. Or we create it, see that's red, then it's green. And you set your skips. And I think we've done all most of the other buttons. So just a quick 
quick overview of what's what's here. Again, you can cancel that U-turn. That tells you how far you are through the U-turn. So having this floating text and being able to write things on the screen within the OpenGL window opens up a lot of possibilities, especially like with these flags. Uh, you can't talk about uh, making text for these flags and more information about those texts. And there's some really good ideas. Of course, it's just a matter of time of squeezing everything in. But uh, having the ability to write directly on OpenGL, like with this compass and things like that, that opens up a lot of possibilities. So keep the ideas coming. We'll try to squeeze them in. But enjoy this version. It's 3.0.8, I believe. And uh, yeah, have fun.